Hello and welcome to another video in which I wanted to share with you our experience with these great gadgets that for sure are gonna be of great help for many and let me tell you why. The dilemma that we particularly found ourselves at was that we wanted to connect the first floor of my brother's house with a normal Ethernet CAT6 cable and interconnect them so we could have Ethernet access here for gaming consoles, TV and access points. However, and this is something very normal, there was no easy way to replace wiring as there are no dedicated ducts for such cabling, something very common in older houses. So we had this cable run in coaxial cable and no easy way of connecting these two places without serious work through the walls or external wiring, something we didn't want to do. We had heard about this Ethernet over coaxial cable, which the last time I had investigated about it couldn't go beyond 100 megabit per second and was pretty expensive. And that is the reason we decided to give it a try for one of these devices, which included two units, two power adapters, a couple CAT5E cables and no instructions beyond what's on the box. We watched the schemes and basically this is what we had to do with them. Please remember that we always encourage you to test your equipment on top of your desktop and then connect it for normal operation. Even though the house had all coaxial cable around the house interconnected through cable splitters, it is important to note that in order for us to use these devices, they must not have any signal active at the moment. No matter what else you might think, as they do have this other connector that is not gonna be used. We even decided to isolate which cable was going to that destination and we ended up with these cables used only that one we needed and once we connected according to this guide first right here at the remote location and then right here the connection link came right up then connected the network and that was all internet connection was up connected a couple other units for the third floor connection and where we used to get from 2 to 300 megabit per second through Wi-Fi 6, we now have a more stable network and even internet goes up to the gigabit download speed we get from our ISP. In a nutshell, they do work at the specification stated by the manufacturer and you can use your old coax cable most houses have with no problem. You can even take it at 1 gigabit per second with no problem at all. We were even able to play around with it and even older telephone cables worked for fast ethernet. Something very important to note here. We appreciate your time watching this video, we hope that it was of great help if you are experiencing the same limitation at home and need to make an informed decision. Thanks for watching.